Here is the second part of the Oppo A57 4G problems video and how to solve it. To find out which apps on your Oppo A57 4G are using your RAM, go to Settings, About Phone Greater Than Tap 7 Times On, Build Number, to bring up Developer Options. If it is hidden, go back to Settings, Advanced, Developer Options, Memory. If the lag issue persists, then you may need to perform a factory reset on your Oppo A57 4G. Remember to take a full Android backup before performing a factory reset. Oppo A57 4G Bluetooth won't connect. How to fix it? Bluetooth problems are normal in any Android device. One of the common Bluetooth problems that most Oppo A57 4G users encounter is Bluetooth pairing issue. Let's see how to fix it. First of all, check if there are software updates available for your device. If so, update it and check if the problem is resolved. The second step is to clear the Bluetooth cache. Go to Settings, System, Advanced, Advanced, Reset Options, Reset Wi-Fi, Cellular and Bluetooth. Finally, restart your device. Thirdly, make sure that your phone can be detected by other devices and vice versa. If you are unable to pair the Bluetooth in the car, try the following steps. This issue occurs when the car is in motion and you are trying to pair Bluetooth. In this case, Try Bluetooth pairing when your car is stable, not moving. This will most likely fix the problem. Finally, you can try to turn Bluetooth on and off on your Oppo A57 4G. Oppo A57 4G apps won't download. How to fix it? A simple phone restart may help. You can try to delete Play Store data and Play Store cache. Go to Settings, Apps and Games, Play Store. Tap on Storage and Cache and Clear Storage, Cache. Try to uninstall and reinstall Play Store updates by going to Settings, Apps and Games, Play Store. Tap more in the upper right corner greater than Uninstall App. Updates. It is also possible that your device storage is full. Try to uninstall some apps or games from your device. You can try to delete your Google account from your Oppo A57 4G then add it again. To delete your Google account, go to Settings, Accounts greater than tap on your account greater than then tap on Remove account. To add your account again, go to Settings, Accounts, Add an account, Sign into your account. Try to check if there are any software updates available for your Oppo A57 4G. This will fix the bug. Sometimes, a particular app is not made for a specific country or is blocked in a country. You should repair the .app file yourself and then try to install it. Check if internet is working properly on your Oppo A57 4G. If still not working, Resetting the phone may be the only solution. But remember to back up your important data. Oppo A57 4G turns off randomly. How to fix it? The phone may turn off automatically if the temperature of your environment is too high. Make sure that you are using the phone in a cool environment. Remove all other accessories from the phone-like case, charger, headphones, etc. and try to find the main culprit. Remove any third-party themes and just use the stock UI of Oppo A57 4G. Boot your Oppo A57 4G in safe mode and check if any third-party apps are causing the problem. Make sure your phone's battery is in good condition. To see the current status of your phone's battery, Open your phone's dialer and enter asterisk hash asterisk hash 4636 hash asterisk hash asterisk hash asterisk. Now tap on the battery info icon. 
From here check if the battery status is good or not. If the phone turns off after warming up, then there may be a problem with heating. We have already discussed solutions to the heating problem. The problem may have occurred after updating your Android operating system. Try to remove those updates from your Oppo A57 4G. If all the above methods won't work, you will have to restart your Oppo A57 4G. To do this, open settings, system, reset greater than select, erase phone data. Sometimes the phone turns off automatically due to a hardware issue. You should contact the customer support center so that the problem of the automatic shutdown of the phone can be resolved. Oppo A57 4G apps crashing. How to fix it? Simply uninstall and reinstall the app, and the app should work properly. If the phone asks for permission, such as GPS, file access, etc., you need to give the permission to the app. Check if your Oppo A57 4G has enough extra storage. If not, try to free up some storage space by deleting some files. Try to restart your Oppo A57 4G and check if the apps work. You can try clearing app data and cache on your Oppo A57 4G. To do this, go to Settings. Applications greater than select the name of the application greater than clear data. Try to check for a newer version of the app. Update. And if an update is available, install it. If no update is available, wait for a few days. The operating system on your Oppo A57 4G may also need to be updated to fix any issues with the app. Any antivirus app on your device could be causing the problem. Disable your antivirus and try the app again. It is always advised to use genuine apps from the Play Store. Avoid downloading apps and games from third-party websites. It is possible that the features of your phone have been disabled by mistake and that could be causing the problem. Make sure you have enough RAM and a decent CPU on your phone to run the apps. Finally, a factory reset on your Oppo A57 4G may be necessary to make apps work normally. Oppo A57 4G is slow to charge or won't charge. How to fix it? If your phone is not charging properly, or the charging speed is slower than before, follow the steps. Make sure you are using the original charger and cable that came in the box. Check for anything wrong with the charger or cable. Also, if the charger and cable are okay, check if the port is loose. If so, clean the port with the help of some soft stuff. Dirt can sometimes build up in the charging port of your Oppo A57 4G causing the charging issue. If your phone is under warranty, take the device to a service center. They will fix the problem for free. Oppo A57 4G speaker problems. How to fix it? Speaker problems may occur over time, such as low volume or the speaker not working at all. Check out the following methods to check and resolve the issue. How to fix Oppo A57 4G speakers. First, check for water inside the speaker holes if the volume is low. Restart your phone and see if the volume works fine again. Next, make sure that your phone is not in silent mode or another profile. Also check if the phone volume increases with software or physical buttons of Oppo A57 4G. Also, Formatting or rebooting can help us if the problem is with the phone software or hardware. Dirt particles can block the speakers preventing the sound from coming out. So the volume is low. Have the phone checked by the nearest service center. Uninstall any unknown apps that you have not installed on the phone. Malware can also cause this problem on your Oppo A57 4G.
The above steps will fix the speaker issue if software is the culprit. For hardware issues you should have your phone checked at a service center. Oppo A57 4G microphone not working. How to fix it? Do you have any problem like microphone not working? Or phone audio recording is low? Let's fix it. How to fix microphone problems in Oppo A57 4G? Check if any dirt particles are blocking the microphone opening. Next, make sure that the microphone works in all the applications that need it. For some apps, go to Settings, Apps, select the app, Allow Microphone Access. Clean the microphone at a low volume, remove any obstacles around the area. A few times the phone case can lock up the microphone and cause this problem. This should solve the microphone problem. If the problem is not resolved, then you have to take it to the nearest service center to look. For the paid solution, Oppo A57 4G fingerprint sensor not working. How to fix it? Several users reported fingerprint issues on the phone. If you are also facing the same problem, then follow the steps below to successfully fix the fingerprint issue on the phone. How to fix the fingerprint problem in Oppo A57 4G? First of all, Check if the water has damaged the reader. If the scanner is damaged, it is best to take it to the nearest service center for repair. However, without any physical damage, the fingerprint scanner may cause a malfunction due to the software version. Now, restart your phone. This has fixed the problem for a lot of people. If it doesn't, Go to settings and remove your finger and add it again properly. Still not solved the problem. Check for software update and if available. Download and install it on your Oppo A57 4G. At the end of the video, I thank you for watching. I hope you liked it. And see you in a new video.